Hi, this is Ken from TipmanParts.com with an unboxing video for the brand new all black version of the Tipman TMC MagFed paintball marker. Let's get right into it. Of course, here's our large box that it comes in. Uh, notes right there that this has the standard Tipman one year warranty. Uh, that's an excellent warranty from Tipman, but trust me, you'll never need to use it. These guns are incredibly reliable. This is based on the old Tipman 98 platform for the internals. So it's a well-known, high quality, very refined internals to this paintball marker. Uh, these work very well. Now, of course, this is the latest edition that is in the all black version of this marker. The older version was a black and tan paintball marker, but this has been a highly sought after and desired version is to get this in a traditional all black look. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. You can see everything in it. The first thing you're going to see is your manual. Now this looks like a real thick manual, but don't be too scared. This is in English, French, and Spanish. So you have a full manual on everything you need to know about this paintball marker. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull everything out of this so we can kind of go over it all with you here. I'm going to first pull out the two 20 round magazines, the dummy mag for uh, normal hopper fed style paintball play, your hopper feed adapter, accessory pack, the core of the marker itself, front barrel and shroud, and there should be one more piece in here. Yes, uh, the hopper feed cover. There, we got that box out of the way so we can kind of go over everything. First thing I'm going to go over here are these magazines. These are the uh, Tipman TMC 20 ball magazines. They hold 20 rounds in a helical system right through there. Um, this is all black. If you at the time of making this video, if you wanted to get extra magazines, the only ones that are available are the tan versions, but we do expect these all black ones to become available fairly soon on their own. <clears throat> now this comes with two of these. Of course, it has the, the fake ranger plates here on the bottom that make it uh, very easy to pull these off the, off the bottom of your gun. This will also have a dummy magazine on it. This is for when you're using hopper fed paintball play. Now say you're playing with a bunch of friends that are all using 200 round uh, gravity fed paintball hoppers and you want to keep up with them and you don't want to do the mag fed version of the game. You pop this down in to, into the magazine well and you can see a little orange piece right there. That is a standard Tipman ball detent uh, that then attaches in through the bottom of the paintball marker swing this around here. So let me kind of go over there between mag fed and hopper fed on this marker. If I'm going to do a hopper fed paintball game, I'm going to attach my hopper elbow and it's going to go right over that central hole right there. It's going to go in right there and I would take this off. Just unscrews right there. Whoop, there we go. That then goes in there swings down into place and then that screw mounts on the other side holding into place and now I have a hopper fed paintball marker. One extra thing you still have to have in there is the dummy mag because that is where your ball detent is. Now I don't want to do that. I want to play hopper fed or excuse me, I want to play mag fed because that's what this is really designed for. Then I'm going to take this little plate and you can see it also has a ball detent on it. Unscrew that much the same way as that elbow went on, this will now swing into place right there, covering it up. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put that on the other side. That in a magazine in the gun, and I am mag fed. Of course, I don't have my barrel on it yet, but let's go over that in just a few moments. So I have a magazine release right here. Push that, and the magazine just drops right out. So there we go. Uh, swing it around to the other side. This has a standard safety that looks like a firearm style safety. It goes to right here. This position is for safe. And then you point it straight up and now it's on fire. Now this is a mechanical only paintball marker. This does not use any batteries whatsoever. But being mechanical, that means it fires once each time you pull the trigger in a semi-automatic fashion. Now on most paintball markers, you're going to have a small knob that you use to pull back and cock it the first time, but this has a charging handle like a real AR rifle. Pull this to the rear like this, and now 
it's in fire as it is I can pull the trigger and the gun will fire of course it'll make a lot more noise if you actually have co2 or compressed air on it and this will recock on its own each time you pull the trigger when it is gassed up now let's move to the back side of this you have your shoulder stock right here it has a clip right here you can press that and expand this out to various lengths like so and various lengths in the middle if you want it at a shorter length show you the end of it there you can kind of see the rough edges there so it fits nicely against your shoulder this has several different ways you can attach a sling to this you have traditional sling mount slots right here on the end see that in that skeleton section and you also can rotate it up mount a sling to either side with these sling mounting points right behind the grip frame right there okay now uh, this gun will operate equally well on CO2 or compressed air. It has a traditional bottom line setup, so your bottle would just come off the back. Or you can hook up a remote line to this going uh, to a backpack or a harness system, uh, keeping the CO2 or compressed air bottle uh, basically on your waist. There is another version of this stock that has a small compressed air system that goes inside of it containing it all in here so you don't have anything sticking off the bottom it is an add-on uh, adapter for this and it is an extra purchase but you can get those as well and it'll be a little bit fatter stock right in here with your compressed air system built into the stock that does not come with this basic kit that is an add-on so you'd have to look for that and we will have those on our website uh, take a look there now on the front end you have your barrel and shroud right here uh, now this barrel inside of here i'm going to go ahead and just slide it on out this is 12 inches long it has a fake bird cage for the tactical look on the front and it uses as you can see right there that's called model 98 threads so this paintball marker will use any barrel that uses model 98 threads should you want to use an aftermarket barrel on it the gun uh, or the stock barrel here is about a 0 0.691 uh, on its internal bore. Now, let me explain a little bit what that means. We're using 68 caliber paintballs, but a perfect 68 caliber paintball is 0 0.689. Being that this is 0 0.691 means it's a little bit larger in diameter, allowing this paintball gun to shoot imperfect or slightly out of round paintballs with the stock barrel. Uh, should you use really high-end paintballs, you might want to get a 0.689, a little bit tighter bore aftermarket barrel for increased accuracy. But this stock barrel works fine with your standard paintballs that you're picking up at any mass merchant store or most paintball fields. This will screw right into the front of the paintball marker right here. And then the shroud slides over it like so a second there now it does have to be connected in here there's a small allen wrench screw point right there and the tool comes with this you would then slide this in and then reconnect it together i'm not going to do that at this time with this video uh, you have picatinny rails all the way across the top the side and the bottom this allows you to mount scopes red dot sights flashlights lasers front grips front folding grips and bipods and anything else you can think of you can that mounts on a picatinny rail will mount onto this you have a couple of sights that are that come with it you got one here on the back and one here on the front uh, these are just basic plastic sights uh, they work just fine but they can also come off they are just simply attached whoops they are also just simply attached to this picatinny rail and so if you want to take those off and put some really fancy aftermarket ones on the gun or just take them off and use a red dot dot site you can do that uh, they will come right off of this paintball marker uh, we have an accessory kit that comes with this this will have your 
large barrel sleeve that goes on the end of the barrel it's the large bright colored thing that you see everybody having on their paintball guns when they're in the safety zone so that you know when your paintball is safe and it can't accidentally shoot somebody else uh, in paintball of course we depend on this a lot more than the on gun safety so you always want to use this and it's bright yellow so everybody can see it uh, also in this bag is a foldable barrel squeegee for swabbing out and cleaning your barrel should you ever break a paintball inside you will have a couple Allen keys in here. These are all of the keys and tools you need to disassemble this to do any kind of maintenance you would want to do on it. You have replacement O-rings for the few common O-rings on it and a small packet of oil. It's a one-time use packet of oil. It's sort of hidden down in here, uh, right down in there. Now I say this is a one-time packet of oil and it has far more oil than you would ever use in one time. If you want to oil this, you only put just a couple drops mainly on the main bolt uh, inside. It does not take much oil at all. And out of the box, there's no oiling you need to do. This is already oiled. So save that for a rainy day. And I say rainy day and I really mean that. You get this really wet and that's the point in time you might want to put a little bit of more oil on it. Uh, so you have that repair pack. So first time repairs, very easy to do with everything that's right in here. Uh, so you got two rounds for standard mag fed, holds about 40 paintballs, 20 in each. Uh, you can switch over to hopper fed with the dummy mag right here. You have your feed neck and your cover plate and you're ready to go. This is the brand new all black version of the Tipman TMC mag fed paintball marker. And I'm Ken from Tipman Park.